In our previous video, Recording Acoustic Guitar Part 2, we compared various mics at the 12th fret at a distance of 12 inches. We liked the sound of all of these mics and explored a few ways to deal with the pronounced low end from this particular instrument. Now we are going to record the guitar with two microphones. We are not trying to record in stereo at this point. Instead, we want to create a nice blend using the sound from two different places on the instrument. We got a great single mic sound from a Marshall MXL 2001 placed 12 inches in front of the 12th fret, aiming about 45 degrees towards the body of the guitar. We placed another 2001 12 inches away from the bridge. Let's blend these two sounds in mono. Adding a bit of the bridge mic to the neck mic really fills out the low mids. There is a common guideline called the 3 to 1 rule that comes into play when you have more than one mic on the same instrument. The idea is that if the mics are too close together, they pick up a sound that is just similar enough to cause interference when blended together. This interference can degrade your sound. So the 3 to 1 rule says that your mics should be three times as far from each other as they are from the instrument. This way they pick up dissimilar sounds that can be blended without interference. With this in mind, we moved the mics a little farther apart and a bit closer to the guitar. The neck mic got a bit brighter at this distance and both mics picked up a bit more low end due to the proximity effect. For an explanation of proximity effect, check out another one of our videos, Recording Bass Guitar Part 1. We were after a sound with a bit less bass, so we moved the mics a few inches farther from the guitar. We also moved them a few inches farther apart to maintain the 3 to 1 relationship. We really felt we got the best 3 to 1 sound in this configuration. We decided to record some finger picking in these two 3 to 1 configurations to see if we still liked the extra distance. Soft fingers on strings produce less high end than a hard pick. So with finger picking, we also liked the more distant placement. We recommend you try this 3 to 1 idea when blending mics and see if it makes a difference for you. In our next video, Recording Acoustic Guitar Part 4, we will record the guitar with a close mic and a more distant mic and try time aligning the two tracks. We will also blend in the direct output of the guitar using a direct input box, or DI.